China says it's put millions of people in Xinjiang through a controversial program that it calls vocational education. The program has drawn worldwide criticism for forcing mostly Uyghur Muslims into re-education camps. In a new report, China said that 1.3 million people had been through the program every year for six years to tackle poverty and to eradicate religious extremism. The footballer Lionel Messi can register his name as a trademark after a nine-year legal battle. The EU's top court has ruled. The European Court of Justice dismissed an appeal from the Spanish cycling company Messi and the EU's intellectual property office. The cycling company had argued a similarity between their logos would cause confusion. The Barcelona striker had recently returned to training with the Spanish clubs following a dispute with them over a transfer request. As the number of confirmed coronavirus cases worldwide reaches 30 million, officials say the rise in Europe needs to serve as a wake-up call. Although these numbers reflect more comprehensive testing, it also shows alarming rates of transmission across the region. The number of officially recorded coronavirus cases across the globe has climbed above 30 million. And according to figures from Johns Hopkins University in the US, more than 940,000 people worldwide have died with the disease since it first emerged in China late last year. The worst affected countries remain the United States, India and Brazil. But there's been a surge in positive test results across Europe in recent weeks. Figures from the World Health Organization show that new weekly coronavirus cases in Europe now exceed those reported when the pandemic first peaked in March. Well, let's take a look at Europe. Spain recorded almost 5,000 new infections in 24 hours, up from just over 3,000 the previous day. Almost 2,000 were in the Madrid region, which is planning targeted lockdowns. In France, 10,593 cases were recorded on Thursday, marking the highest single-day count since the pandemic began. In the UK, the government's announced almost 3,400 new infections on Thursday. To help prevent the spread of the virus, almost 2 million people living in the northeast of England are now under new restrictions that came into place at midnight local time. COVID-19 cases are on the rise in France as doctors warn that hospitals are filling up. A record number of fires in the Pantanal wetlands of South America, causing devastation in one of the world's most biodiverse areas. And the Russian opera singer Anna Nabretko is admitted to hospital with coronavirus. Scientists say that a rapid coronavirus test has been developed and that can, it can accurately diagnose an infection within 90 minutes without needing a specialist laboratory. The device is already being used in eight NHS hospitals and the government has ordered more. It's most useful for helping to quickly identify people with COVID-19 in hospitals rather than mass testing.